Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video of Prompt Engineering Real Life Examples where in this video I'll be telling you guys how you can use ChatGPT or OpenAI in your Google Docs in order for you to write content and to generate your own real life examples from AI by its own. So yeah, before starting, uh, as you guys know like Google Docs is an online word processor that lets you create and format documents and work with other people and is actually included as part of the free web-based Google Docs editor suite uh, that is actually offered by Google and which also includes uh, Google Sheets, Google Slides, Google Drawings and you know Google Forms and all those other tools. So yeah you can also uh, use uh, ChatGPT in those tools as well by this same exact procedure. So yeah without further ado let's just jump right into our lab where I will show you how you can set up and integrate that. Alright so first of all what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to open your Google Docs link on your browser. Alright and the next thing you need to do is is you need to go to eight options on the top left there and you need to go to this extensions options right here and you need to click on ads on and it will give you an option uh, to get ads on that means you can install and integrate any extension to your google docs now and after that uh, a google workspace marketplace column will appear uh, into your google docs and after that you can search gpt for docs over here and you know hit search and yet the first option uh, that will appear on your google workspace marketplace which will be gpt for sheets and docs you need to click on that and you're gonna hit install and yeah, as you guys can see showing like gpt for sheets and docs has been installed then you're gonna hit next and done and yeah, uh, after uh, these basic steps, uh, the GPT for Sheets in your Google Docs will be installed. And yeah, let's just now activate this. And for that, I will show you how you can do that as well. For that, uh, you need to go into your extensions column once again. And on that, GPT for Sheets uh, option will appear as soon as you will install that. You need to go into that. And it will give you a few of the options. And you will have to go to the option that says Set API Key. And then it will ask you for your OpenAI API key. So how you can get that? Let me show you guys that as well. For OpenAI API key, you need to go into this link that I've showed you on the screen as well. You can copy and paste uh, this link into your browser and it will guide you to this uh, website right away. This is basically a website for OpenAI overview. And on that, you need to go into uh, the top right option which says personal you need to click on that and you need to go to the view api keys over here you need to click on that so it will open an option for you for the api keys now what you want to do is you need to create a new secret key that will give you an api key number so that will be useful for you in order to put that into your google docs and after that your uh, chat gpt in google docs will be activated and ready to use you need to copy that now by hitting that green option over here you need to click ok and after all that you need to come back to your google docs now paste that api key over here you need to click on check so yeah it says your OpenAI api key is valid now you need to click on save api key and yeah with all these little steps now your chat gpt has been integrated and installed in your google docs now let's check this out by giving it a few examples so, to see whether it's uh, working or not and yeah to open that chat gpt tab you need to go into the extensions again go to the gpt for sheets and docs and you need to launch that sidebar so you will hit the option on launch sidebar and yeah now you can see this sidebar will appear where it says it's choose an action you need to type in your prompt and you need to submit that and it will insert it in your google docs right away so let's just go for an example and say it write a birthday letter to my best friend john and let's just submit it and yeah, as you guys can see, with the help of that prompt, they just created a whole birthday letter to my best friend John, which is happy birthday buddy. It's hard to believe that another year has passed. So this is a very nice birthday letter that we can that we generated from AI in our Google Docs. All right, so next example, we can let uh, Chat GPT or AI write any agreement for us. It can be any rental agreement, or you can say any employment letter between an employer and an employee. So yeah, I'm just gonna type over here 
I'm just going to ask him to write me a rental agreement between two parties. This can be any parties uh, of tenant or uh, the owner. So let's just need submit and see what kind of uh, agreement is going to write it for us. All right. Yeah. So as you guys can see with just one click, it just wrote a whole rental agreement for us between a landlord and a tenant. So that's exactly what we want. So these are basically a few of the heading, which is property term, rent, security deposit, use of property, maintenance. So yeah, now you know with the help of a chat GPT, you can write any agreement or any letter between any two parties. And yeah, let's just go for one more example where this time I'll be writing something a little bit different. So let's just write here. So I'm just going to ask him to write me a forfeit proposal to code for a red light signal challenge. So let's just see what is going to write it for us now. So yeah, so now it just created a whole application or kind of a letter you can say to code you which says your honor as a penalty for the red light signal challenge. I propose that I'll be required to attend a traffic safety course. This code will be educating. So now forfeit that red light signal challenge. So it has written a whole uh, proposal for us with a very nice structural template. So yeah, now you can use this template and use this proposal in your respectively scenario. So yeah, as you guys can see with the help of AI, now you can write essays, paragraphs, any article or anything of your favorite topic with the help of just prompts to using chat TBT in Google. Google Docs. So yeah, that will be it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, if you do, don't forget to watch more of our videos on this prompt engineering course and I'll catch you guys in the next one.